Welcome to Sculpture Studios. A client came to us and asked if we could make 10 cow heads for her, all made from fiberglass and all identical. Naturally we said yes we can, and she sent us an existing model with a head she had for a parade that she wanted replicated. Due to the previous use of this original model, the surface was all scratched up and rough in places where the paint had come off, and obviously we didn't want to replicate these imperfections. So rather than making a mould straight from this pattern, and having to clean up each cast every time, we decided to create a new master pattern to work from. Ada made a quick plaster mould that splits into three sections, and this is what we call a waste mould. It's relatively fragile, and really only good for creating one cast from, but for this particular job, that's all we need. A fiberglass cast is then made from this, and it's taken from the mould and joined, and it's cleaned up to perfection, and this will form the new master pattern, ready for replication. The same rules apply when creating any production run, of 10 to 100, or even 1000 casts. It's better to get the design perfect at this stage, and it eliminates any unnecessary work later on. From here, Aiden then makes a silicon rubber production mould, and this means it will allow him to take more than one cast from it. With a fiberglass jacket around the edge, it helps it keep its form while it's being laid up. A gel coat is added as the first layer, so the cast has a nice smooth finish when it comes out, and then a layup of 4 ounces of fiberglass ensures it's nice and strong, but relatively lightweight. We give the resin plenty of time to set, and then all the pieces of the cast are taken from the moulds, and all the flash material on the edge is trimmed off. We use the gel coat line as a guide to cut down to, so we'll end up with a relatively smooth edge that meets up with the other sections. They're joined together on the inside using glass fibre and resin, the same material as the cast themselves, and we use fillers to make good all the seam lines on the exterior. We refill and go over these, sand them down several times, and often we give them all a spray so we can see the outcome of what we've just done. If they need it, we refill and sand it down again and again, until we're happy that the finish is flat and seamless. We made a total number of 10 cow heads, and they all need to end up looking identical and looking nice and clean. They also needed to be attached to a base or a board at the back of the neck, so we drew out a template and marked where each of the anchor points needed to be fitted and created tabs that would allow the heads to be bolted on. The whole idea of these cow heads was that they began to be given to celebrities and artists, and being left as a blank canvas with just a white base primer, it was up to the celebrities to decorate and artwork their cow head however they wished. They were then going to be put into an exhibition and auctioned off to raise money for charity. We apologise we don't actually have any shots of the heads after their artworks, but I guess you'll just have to be the highest bidder. And that's it, 10 white identical cow heads. Please feel free to leave any comments below, as they're always appreciated, and subscribe to our channel for our latest videos. You can like Sculpture Studios on Facebook, and for more of our work, visit sculpturestudios.co.uk. Thank you very much for watching.